Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to change a, a ball cock in a toilet system. This one's a bit noisy, so if you've got a noisy one, uh, you can change the washer, it may stop it, but uh, you, it's probably best to change the whole thing. So this particular system has got one of these in it, and uh, you can see it's an old plastic one, but I'm going to change it with one of the same type. Uh, you can change it for a brass part too, but uh, in this particular instance I'm going to keep it fairly much the same and replace it with um, this one here that I've got here. So without delay, I'll show you how to do it. Uh, and first of all, we make sure, obviously, we turn the water off, okay? It's off there on that little valve. If you've got one of those, you can turn it off without affecting anything else. If you haven't, just turn your water off down at the mains or up at the tank if it's a low pressure fed one. Okay, and the first thing now we've got to do is undo this union here. Well, you can use a spanner, that's fine on these, or if you're a plumber like me, you've got access to these. these are, we always call them grips, but uh, these footprints are the ideal tools, I think, for, for plumbers. But don't worry, the spanner will be fine. Just give it a turn. You might find a valve tries to turn within the system, but it'll wedge up. If it does try to turn, just get a spanner to hold against so that you can undo it properly, like so. Once you get a few turns on it, it should just pop out. There'll be a bit of dead wall in it, not much. That much there can you see that there's always a little bit left in there in, in the valve itself once it's out that's it okay now we've got to continue and undo the back nut there undo it a bit trickier it's a bit tighter to the system but again persevere and it will come undone just get on it sorry i can't lock it on there much better i've been doing it one-handed <laughs> i have no assistant today no jan to help me hold the camera it's all down to me so i'm doing it one-handed what the hell, I can do it. <laughs> uh, and obviously, as you can see, just keep twisting it out. It's trying to move inside the system now because I'm holding it with one hand. But uh, this will come off and then we'll just take it right away out. It's nearly out now, look. I've nearly got the nut off. There we are, it's coming away. That's it. And if you look inside there now, you can see I can take this away. We got, we got him out there now. Alright, so as you can see it's empty, it's been flushed so um, it makes life a bit easier as well if you flush it first. Okay, so we're just going to change this over now with the new one. Alright, before we fit this valve, I'd just like to show you this particular model. Uh, and a lot of these plastic ones, these cheap ones like this, look like this. Um, they have a low pressure seat in here, uh, which you should replace inside here if um, you've got a tank fed system. That is a very low pressure, it's not going on the mains. That seating just pops out of there uh, and allows you to put this one in. So if you've got low pressure, just don't forget to do that because it is quite important. This, this barrel just fits back in there it's straight and easy. One other thing, you'll see there's a there's a little piece there and the top. There's the top, the overhead feeder. And you'll notice that there's like a little rib piece there on there. You can see it's flat. So that, that will, will pop over there and go on the flat side. So if I pop that on here, I'll show you. Just push it on. And then what happens is that locks the head on so now that won't pull off so under pressure that shouldn't pull off i'm going to have it that way against here but can you see the flat side of that okay and the fact that that ridge is under there this valve only wants to ball on it now and uh, we should be getting ready set to go get you some adjustments get it roughly right before you fit it in okay Right, so here we are. The valve is roughly about ready now. I've screwed the ball on, got the top on, and I'll adjust it roughly where I think the level might be. All right, now one little bit you can do, uh, if you get the old valve and put it up against there, you can see how far to swivel that back nut in there. So it will be the right distance to do up on the pipe outside. That's something else, just a little trick to do. Get that about the same distance on this old one. So that they're both about the same. You know then that it will fit the connector, the uh, tap swivel as we call it, um, on the pipe work. And lastly, before we insert it into our system, have a look at this joint here. Because, like, look at this one. There's, there's no, there's no ring on there. Should be a, a little fiber washer on there. Um, if you haven't got a fiber washer and you've got a bit of hemp or a bit of PTFE tape, it will do. You can wrap it around there, uh, and that will make the joint for you. But there are proper fiber washers to go on here. So I'm going to whip this remaining piece of washer off and put. Well, I've got a bit of hemp I'm going to use, but um, yeah. Fibre washer is the order of the day normally, okay? Don't do what I do, <laughs> do as I say. <laughs> Fibre washer, okay. 
well I've, I've got a good excuse not to use my fibre washer now I, I did manage to find one uh, but even a very old fitting up here an old Imperial it actually doesn't fit <laughs> on the end of this it will fit on most normal ones so I'm actually used forced to use a bit of PTFE or in my instance a little bit of EMP but that is the normal washer you would get to go on your swivel joint if it was a bit newer and not about 30 years old like this one <laughs> So, a bit of old fashioned hemp later, there it is. Right, I've got my valve kind of ready All right, to go in. One last thing, at this nut here, I have it round this way because I like to put a ceiling washer on there. A lot of people will push it through the other way around and have the ceiling washer on the outside, but I prefer to have it on the inside. I've, I've got to put the camera down, on, but I'll push this on just to show you it in place. Okay, so here we go, our washer is on, and we're going to push it through now. And as you can see, we're up against now. We've got a ceiling washer in case it overflows. It won't allow the water to go out the back of the toilet. And we're ready now. We're nice and loose to get our nut on. So I've got to put the camera down, I'm afraid, and we'll do that bit next. So just get your nut on, start it up, and get them on. Same as it came out before. Exactly the same procedure. You can see the valve in there. If I come back a little bit, you can see we're just getting it in. And we'll tighten him up and make sure that he's also in the start of that connector there and as you can see it's going in nicely because as we tighten it up so it enters the pipe as well at the same time like that okay you can see it now that it's it's gone into there as well so we hold this level with one hand and we tighten this up now you can see I've, I've tightened that one up now with grips I'm afraid I had to do it with both hands I needed to hold the valve level inside and uh, obviously you can see now you just put your nut on the outside here just make sure it goes up nice and square when you do it okay and if you do it with fingers like so you can feel it going up square and keep a close eye on it you can see it's quite square and give it a nip do a pair of grips again not too hard as it's a plastic valve, all right, but firm enough. And as you can see, it'll try and undo the valve, so make sure this is nice and tight on this back nut here. I'm going to put the camera down so I can hold it with both hands. So, there we are then. She's fully tightened up now. So, no need to go too mad on tightening this up, okay. You can always give it a little bit more. And, uh, basically, we're ready to turn the water on, which is what we do now and get it filled up we've got our level line down here which I think is actually a little bit low but uh, we'll see how it goes with that first right uh, we're all ready then to turn on we have a, a little valve here which is very handy and I hope some of you've got these uh, after the great two to slight spread turn it on you can hear it fill in there and there she goes I've got my spark down there you can turn it around that way if you want turn it any way you like just move it like that if you want you can turn it right around no problem Put it this side if you prefer. Doesn't matter, perhaps you'll see it better that side. Okay, we'll have it that side. So that's that's your preference. Uh, and we're filling up now and we've got the level adjusters here. There's the level adjuster. Just like that. Turn the colour back that to it and then it will be locked at that level forevermore. And we should be up and running pretty proper. You can see it's come up to a level line down in there, so I've got it roughly adjusted right, just a few more little adjustments on here we should have it pretty good. There we are, we'll just get the final adjustment now. And as you can see she's not far off the line there. Here's our level adjuster, just undo it a little bit to let more in, anti-clockwise that way, and back the other way to shut it down a bit. Once we're happy with our level there, we'll just lock this back nut up and I'll show you that in a second. Well there we are, that's about it, job done. Um, I've still got this back nut to wind up, it's a little bit stiff so it's going to take me a bit longer than I thought. It's usually stiff when it's on a horrible plastic thread, but once it's backed up against there, um, that's all there is to it. I'm not going to bother going for showing you all that, I'm sure you can do that one. Alright, just check that your joint out here is okay, there's no leaks and drips, wipe it dry and just check it's okay. But basically that's the job, we're done and we're going to flush away. <laughs> Oh, what a lovely noise. <laughs> okay, that's it guys. Thanks very much for watching. The usual place, all my videos. Do it in 33. Bye-bye.